In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a call handler. Now, when we, we refer to them as a call handler, basically it's a number that can be put on any website or on any advertisement anywhere in the world, and it will automatically import any calls into your system. So what you do is, first of all, you click on call center. And the first thing you wanna do is scroll down and select one of your numbers from here. Now, these should automatically be filled in if you've set up your Twilio account correctly from previous videos. As you can see from the previous video, this is one that we've used. Test number for video, which was from today. So what I'll do is I'll grab this one here. I know this is just a testing site, so I'm not worried about the numbers in here. Right, so we've now got a phone number there, 074 000. Test number. Okay, so when you set this up, the first thing you want to decide in your, on your call center is you want to record calls. It's a great idea to record calls when you're, <clears throat> excuse me, selling leads, simply because then if a customer says that was a terrible lead, you can say, was it? Let's listen to the call. Listen to the call and realize that they're either full of it or it was a terrible lead. Um, reconnect callers. Now, if you're selling leads, you want to reconnect your caller directly to the person they'd last spoken to. So what I mean by that is, if somebody phones up and your system automatically rings 20 prospects in the local area, which is what it does, and the first person to answer it and say, yes, I wanna to speak to this customer, clicks number one, and then they're speaking to a customer. What will happen is if that customer phones back, if this is switched to yes, that then they will automatically be reconnected back to the person who purchased the lead previously. So it saves on duplicate leads and people and causing arguments and all that. All calls are leads. Okay, so you want to just leave this to no if you're, um, basically we use that if you've got a lead buyer that phones into the system, he doesn't want to be treated as a lead buyer, he wants to be treated as a lead, because if a lead buyer phones up, or a prospect phones up, somebody who's a prospect phones up for a number that's in your system as a prospect, he will be told, we've contacted you to try and get you one as a lead buyer, click one to accept and click two not to, this will just override that. Pass caller ID, if you're selling leads, I would say no, because otherwise they'll just red button the phone and then ring the number straight back, so I'd leave that to no. Right, you can also have a voiceover set up inside your system. I always keep it to mail in the United States. And then you choose which industry you want the call to come in on. Okay, so it's, it's default industry for this one's gonna be locked out of car, okay? But you can also set it to ask caller industry. Now what will happen is you set it to ask caller industry, so when somebody phones up, it will say, Now what I would probably do is put the locksmith one at the bottom, simply because that's a much more general one. So now when the caller rings in, it will say, please press one for locked out of car, please test two, press two for lost car keys, press three for locksmith. Okay, then you get your lead source for your phone number. So you can say, okay, it's on Brian's website. Or maybe it's not, maybe it's on Sharon's website. Save that. And as you can see, now the lead source is Sharon's website and that can be anything you want. Debug mode will tell you if you've got any problems. So that's kind of like a customer service representative that we don't need to pay. <laughs> and if you turn that on and you're ringing, you'll see whether there's any issues. So first of all, I'm just gonna save that as it is. Oh, we need to set the bottom bit, sorry. Right, you've got three options down here. Forward the calls to a single or multiple phone number. So you can click that. And this do these don't need to be lead buyers inside of your system. But what they do need to be, is they do they do need they 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 can be used with your credit system so if you add this to single or multiple numbers you just literally can choose to use this as much as you want with as many different numbers as you want okay so you can set it so it rings all these numbers simultaneously you can change it so this guy doesn't receive calls on a saturday and sunday you can say this guy only receives calls between certain hours so let's say 9 a.m to 5 p.m. He only gets called but seven days a week or he might not work Monday and Friday. Okay, and you just pop their phone numbers in here and this will automatically ring those numbers. Okay, next bit is backup destination. That's in case anybody doesn't an answer. You can have a backup phone number. You can have a call announcement on. Okay, so this is what will be played to the incoming caller. Please hold the line we are connecting whilst we connect you. Please hold the line while we connect you to the closest locksmith. Blah, 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 whatever you want to put that in as. Call whisperer is what will be going out to the call recipient. So you're receiving a call from 
Mike's Mobile Locksmiths. Okay, so that'll be played, receiving a call from Mike's Mobile Locksmiths. Require a response. If you switch this on, they have to press one. If you switch it off, it will automatically connect the first person that picks up the phone call. Okay, and then you can also write in here a voicemail message. Okay, so if you've got a voicemail email, you can add an email here, and this will automatically be sent there. Uh, message played to ask caller to leave a voice message. So please leave a message after the tone beep. Voicemail timeout after 120 seconds. Okay, so we can click save on that. I'll show you the other options. Now you can get forward calls to a single or multiple lead buyers. This will use your credit system. Select lead buyer. We've not yet got a lead buyer in the system, so I can't show you that working. But what that will do is that will connect to single or multiple lead buyers. So you just select them as we've done up here with this list. And then you choose exactly which lead buyers the calls go to. Okay, on this one, you can choose how soon you want them to be billed. These we've just gone through. Okay, so you select your lead buyer. Okay, so 30 to 60 seconds, for example. So after 60 seconds, they're going to be billed as, as a valid lead. Going to get balance alerts. This is, means they're going to get email alerts matching when matching lead buyers does not have enough credit. So if they haven't got enough credit in their system, they'll receive an email saying you would have had a lead from Mike's Mobile Locksmiths, but you didn't have enough credit in your system. Click here to top up. Require a response. Again, he's pressed one. We've done that. Uh, voicemail message and timeout after. So we can click save on that one. And then the third option, which is the most important option and the best option in the whole system, is forward the calls to all matching lead buyers. Right, so if a call comes in, you have a default location here, yes? So what you can do is, this will send the lead. If I click that there, you're gonna view that there's no matching lead buyers in the system because we've got no lead buyers. The next video is gonna show you how to get lead buyers into your system, right? So default location, let's say this was in Miami. Right, and this is locked out of car. Anybody who rings, what the system will automatically do is it will go out and ring up to 20 locksmiths in Miami who do, who do the service locked out of car. Okay, and then they can require as a response. They can press one to accept it, or they can just put the phone down. Now we'd have number one on specifically because I like to have that switched on is because it stops it going to people's answer machines and that's when you start running into problem. Okay, so you've got a backup destination phone number, you've got your call announcement and the call whisperer that we answered, we mentioned earlier. Now, you can also set this to ask the, local, the caller's location. So you don't have to have Miami, Florida, but you can have it set up to Miami, Florida. But let's say you generate calls all over the country. You click this on, so we can direct, direct you to the, please say your zip code. Okay, see what it's put in here? Ask the caller the location. So we can direct you to the right person. Please say or key in your zip code. Okay, dot, dot, dot. Now what the caller can do is they can say or key in their zip code, meaning it's gonna go out into the locked out car industry and if they put 90210, it will ring locksmiths in Beverly Hills. If they put one triple zero one, they will ring locksmiths in New York automatically. So the, the customer picks up the phone. So you can have one phone number and you can sell leads on a national basis with Lead Simplify. And then obviously you just add the phone number to any website in the world and it works on the exact same basis I shown you in the previous video where you have your system and calls will come into your system from anywhere in the world and they'll be automatically distributed and sold to all of your lead buyers. And if there's no lead buyers, it will automatically go out and ring up to 20 prospects simultaneously. And the first people to answer the call can then get the lead and be converted into lead buyers. Thank you very much.